Ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news in the NBA involving Julius Randle. He stings the New York Knicks once again. He is having season-ending surgery. We are going to break this all down. I can't believe this. Um, I, I think that we all knew that this was a possibility, but nobody wanted to believe it, you know. But he is going to have seizing, ending shoulder surgery. Now, listen, I'm a Nick fan. Um, I got orange and blue, you know. Um, like I said, you you know what it is when it comes to flight sports. Um, you know, I was born a Nick fan. This is just another, you know, just another dart our way. You know, it seems like the more and more the Knicks try to get out of this rut that they've been in over the course of many years, a lot of people think of the triumphs lately of the Knicks, you know, looking like a competent organization. But I remember the times, you understand, that wasn't too long ago. You know, um, you know, we was just searching for a point guard like yesterday. You know, just because we got solidified. But, you know, to be honest with you, this is the New York Knicks. And you have Julius Randle holding the Knicks back. Just just it does don't it just it don't make sense. You know what's going on. I, I can't really I, I can't really explain what Julius is doing to the Knicks. This is why they must part ways immediately i understand julius the the talent in the regular season there are many reasons why you must move on from julius he is never available when we need him the most never now this time it is due to a surgery now listen is uh, like i said i don't want to go on a rant let me let me read these reports to the people man because like i said i'm so i'm so just livid right now i can't explain to you um you know randall he's been out you know, since dislocating his shoulder on January 27th, he had been trying to rehab. That's what people was trying to say. You know, um, people thought he was coming back throughout some point. I thought he would miss the first round. You know, I was giving, but Julius just threw in the towel, you know. Um, but doctors warned him recently that continued instability in the shoulder made it unsafe for him to play again this season. You know, um, they saying that he had did everything possible to avoid surgery, you know, and and like I said, this thing happened in January. Obviously, I don't know the the actual recovery timetable, but I mean, you could. I, I'm just saying, get it right away. I mean, you still cut into your time, but could he have made it back if the Knicks made it to the conference finals? You know, I mean, Roland, you would have gave. I don't know. You know, could he have came back at some point in the second round? Obviously, from a shoulder surgery, I don't know the severity of it, but it obviously is very severe. Um, but and this is severe as a Nick fan, man. Um, you obviously, you know, Stephen A. Smith let him have it. We're gonna break that down. Um, you know, it, it don't make sense, man. This is the, the Knicks got to trade him. Uh, Randall's surgery is expected to allow for a full recovery and a return around the start of the 2024-25 season. Sources said undergoing surgery soon gives him the recovery time necessary to target that timeline. That's why I'm saying, why didn't he just get the surgery right away if it was this severe? You know, um, the Knicks said Randall would be reevaluated in September. So clearly, um, they're gonna, he it's, it's looking like he's going to creep into next season with this. You know, this is why you got to trade him. You know, obviously now you got him with a shoulder situation. Who knows the value? Uh, I, I say you get rid of him. Um, this is this is horrible, man. The Knicks have been, you know, trying to make a postseason run. They traded for OG. They traded for Bogdanovich. You know, they they brought back um, Burks. I mean, they they was doing it. You know, um, you got Josh Hart playing like his life on the line. You got Jalen Brunson as the MVP of the Knicks. I mean, what more could you ask for? All we asked, and Mitchell came back. You understand? Shout out Mitchell Robinson. He even came back. He was out there guarding Wimbenyama on one leg. You understand? Shout out to the New York Knicks. You know, um, but this I, I can't stand Julius, man. I, I'm serious, man. I can't stand him. You know, he he's an all-star. We all know he was averaging 24 points, you know, um, shooting 47%, um, and nine rebounds, five assists. Um, and this is what he was doing during during some point during the season. This I'm reading reports he had 19 consecutive games with 20 points or more, the longest streak of his career. You know, so he was definitely having another, you know, 
good big time season. But I, I mean, like I said, I'm just sick of Julius Randle just um, continuing to just hold the Knicks down. They they can't get up, and and I think Brunson he deserves more. This is why you got to try to get Donovan Mitchell. You know, you got to do you got to pull out all stops, and I hope that Julius is out. And the reason why I'm wanting Julius out is so the Knicks don't have to deal with this. You know, you could have somebody in his place and you could position yourself for a serious postseason run. Because right now, the postseason run has become a joke. Right now, everybody knows that the Knicks are no longer a contender. They're no longer a threat. You, We might as well just chalk it up. You know, this is what it's come to right now. This is what Julius has done to a New York Knicks team who has serious aspirations, looking to prove doubters wrong, looking to prove critics. This team was fifth in the um, Eastern Conference. you got a whole lot of basketball to be played. Who is to say the Knicks don't just fall all the way to the play-in after some news like this? I'm just saying, I mean, seriously, how much can the Knicks, you know, put up with? You got Miami on their heels. The Knicks are 44 and 31. You got the Heat on them at 42 and 33. You know, the Pace is 43 and 34. Um, the Six is 41 and 35. Mind you, they're on a the two-game win streak, and they just got Joel Embiid. Mind you, the Knicks, they lost three straight. You know, do, do you see what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? You know, look what Julius has done. They don't have Julius Randle. Um, you got Brunson putting up record numbers, you know, nearly eclipsing Carmelo Anthony's record for a new as a New York Knick. Uh, and he don't have a sidekick with him, you know, who could help him alleviate the heat. This is why Brunson is here. So you don't have so Julius don't have to be um the uh, uh, a mega superstar in the postseason. Can you just be a better version of a role player? Yeah, that's all we asking. Can you hit timely shots? Can you do the things necessary to win? Julius Randle, to me, is a guy who um, it seems like once he gets to the playoffs, he forgets how to play the game. About I've never seen nothing like this, you know, where a guy just shuts down. You know, I mean, I don't. it's like it, this is bad for Julius, you know, especially a guy, like I said, we know the history in college. We know he, he got drafted to the Lakers. I mean, it's, you know he's not afraid of New York. So what what is about the postseason? Obviously, the team's playing him different, but it seems. Listen, it, it, look, ju- something is going on mentally. I don't know. Maybe is is the crown is heavy to hold um, for the New York Knicks too. You know that's not easy. It's not an easy banner to run around with. It's not like you playing for the the Pelicans or you know. Uh, and that's no disrespect to Jazz or this the New York Knicks. You understand? So. Um, Listen, we're going to break down what Stephen A. had to say. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to Flight Sports TV. This is – I'm disgusted, man. I'm very disgusted in Julius Randle. I'm disgusted that the New York Knicks will not reach his potential. I'm just disgusted. 